YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we're just going to answer the title's question right off the bat. Did I get a puppy due to COVID-19, the pandemic, stay at home orders, corona, whatever you want to call it? Uh, short answer is yeah. Yeah, I did. I sure did. Everybody meet Winnie. Now, if you follow me on Instagram at LeahLavon89, you've met Winnie probably a month ago. You, this video is probably going up weeks late. You guys know how I am about my content. But you guys have been entertained by her on my Instagram stories that I realized that I need to introduce her to my YouTube family as well. You guys on here haven't met Winnie yet. But the short answer is yes, I did get Winnie due to the stay at home order. If you guys see behind me, the setup looks a little different. You guys see my monitor. These aren't, you know, my monitors for my YouTube channel. These are my work monitors for my full-time job. Yes, I'm working from home now for who knows when. I know a lot of companies have put down a date of like Labor Day or something like that, uh, but my company doesn't have a return to the office date. And I'm like, okay, well, give me time to bond with a new family member, with a new pooch. If you guys aren't familiar with me or haven't followed my channel at all, I did used to have a dog. Ironically, a dog who looked identical to the dog on my shirt. I bought this shirt, what, five years ago, I believe. I was going back to school shopping with my sister in Forever 21. I don't typically shop at Forever 21, but we saw this shirt and we were all like, Fluffy, I have to get it. I have to get it. Uh, she looks just like her. And if you guys don't know, she passed away in November of 2018. I had had her for almost six years at that point. I got her right after I kind of graduated from college or at least like a semester or a half a year after I graduated from college. Graduated from college, my first time kind of living on my own without roommates and all that and Fluffy entered my life. I keep pointing on my shirt like this is Fluffy but it looks so much like her. But Fluffy was a Pomeranian who was nine years old when she entered my life so I knew that you know I wasn't gonna have forever with her but I did have her and she did stay with me until she was almost 15 almost 16 years old quite honestly I kept making her birthday the day I got her so we don't really know what age she was but she was 15 almost 16 years old basically and uh, I had her for such a long time and of course just with heart problems she passed away in 2018 she's trying to bite my arm this is why she has to stay down when she passed away I immediately was like I wanted another dog. I went on the search. I was on Craigslist. I was looking all over shelters, everything for a new dog. Um, and then it was just like, well, that's the grief talking. Let me take a moment. Let me take a step back. Maybe give myself some time and get a new pooch in 2019. So in 2019 though, I got a promotion at my job to do HR. Uh, but now I focus more on campus recruiting. And I was like, well, maybe now's not the time because I traveled a lot this spring up until like Rona hit. I was really traveling for work and same thing goes for the fall. It's very packed with traveling. So I was like, okay, I'll get a dog in 2020 probably November after recruiting season is over when I can really devote time to her uh, now it looks like there is gonna be no fall recruiting season campuses don't even know if they're gonna open themselves back up let alone let thousands of random employers come in and shake hands with the students touch resumes touch all kinds of things it looks like it's probably gonna be a logistical nightmare so it doesn't look like I'll be doing a lot of traveling so I decided now's the time to introduce a new family member to the Lee Levon family um, Especially being at home for what since March March was when we officially got the stay-at-home order then I got her the end of May so I got her uh, Memorial Day weekend was the weekend that I picked her up which is ironic because I got fluffy Martin Luther King Day weekend but I worked at a job at that point who didn't have Martin Luther King Day off Whoa, that company but it's great that I got her doing a three-day weekend it gave us more time to really bond and being at home now gives us extra time to bond because I can look at her all the time like I literally haven't left the house since Tuesday when we took her to the vet now I've gotten a lot of questions on IG what kind of breed she is she is a toy poodle she was born um 4-1 uh, 2020 so april fool's day and uh, i have to say it's adequate for her behavior because she be acting like an april fool sometimes but don't let her hear it so as i'm recording this right now she is eight and a half weeks old i got her when she was seven and a half weeks old um so she was uh, a little young but they said she was ready so you know she's ready and this is kind of what she looks like now her name Winnie is derived from Winnie the Pooh of course uh, my little sister named her and I was trying to think of a name when I got her like I just saw her and I was like I have to have her and I immediately went out and got her so I didn't have names picked out I didn't have a lot picked out prior just because I had been looking for a pooch for so long that it just didn't seem like it was happening so I was like okay we'll see when she, when it comes I'll know I'll know the name and my sister I sent a picture and she was like 
Winnie, like Winnie the Pooh. And I was like, yes, because she looks like a Winnie the Pooh bear. Not like the normal iteration of Winnie the Pooh. Like if you look at like the 2020 version of Winnie the Pooh. But if you look at the old timey, like Winnie the Pooh is such an old classic. The old Winnie the Pooh bears, if you see them, she kind of has that kind of look. So that is where the name Winnie came from. She's so inquisitive. She's so smart. And that's the big reason I'm happy that I got a toy poodle. Now, when I first was on my dog search, I was looking at shelters. I was looking at um, Craigslist because again having fluffy she was a nine-year-old dog I'm not partial to puppies I didn't necessarily need a puppy and I've never had a puppy before quite honestly even growing up our first ever dog was a Pekingese she was th about three or four years old when we got her so I have been used to kind of smaller breeds but not really younger breeds so having a puppy is definitely an experience right now uh it's definitely teaching me a lot about the puppy game uh but again going back to the fact that i wasn't really needing a puppy i didn't need a puppy dog i was perfectly okay with rescuing we've always had dogs who necessarily didn't come from shelters but they came from people who were looking to rehome dogs so fluffy was pointing to the shirt because she looked so much like her um but fluffy was a dog whose owners just were out of the house so much that they decided they needed to kind of give her up so that's how i got my hands on fluffy don't know say story but again she wasn't a puppy at all now I have been cruising through my Craigslist through my animal shelters and all that um, animal shelters uh, are pretty much at a vacancy right now if you guys know a lot of people are on this same wavelength of I want to pooch because of COVID-19 now again that wasn't my wavelength I didn't need one because of COVID-19 I have been wanting one I've been wanting to be a pet mom I uh, it just felt, felt like that was the perfect time because again I'm at home a lot more so able to give a pooch my undivided attention more so than I would if I had to leave the home and go to the office. So child animal shelters for weeks. The only dogs at animal shelters right now are pit bulls, huskies, and everything else that is pretty much on the list for my apartment of dogs I can't have. Like even our apartment has chow chows on there and I don't even think chow chows are like bad dogs or big, but we have a list of course of restricted breeds and poodles of course aren't on them. But I was open to anything, chihuahuas, anything that needed you know a home. But again, like I said, the shelters have been so eerily vacated that I think the shelter closest to me or the county below me is doing free adoption. So they weren't even charging people for adoptions. That's how much they wanted to get those bigger reads out. So I look for pretty much a few weeks. I have been stalking this lady's page and when I finally saw her post this dog, I was like, oh, I want it. I'm gonna drive down. So I drove down to South Carolina. I told my manager like at any moment, I'm gonna have to drop everything I'm doing because I might find the dog. And I'm, the dog market is so strong right now. It's stronger than the housing market. Like she had sold all the dogs. I think she posted at 11 a.m. All the dogs have been sold by 11, 15 uh, a.m. So again, the dog market is as strong as the housing market right now. So when searching for, you know, a pooch, what my kind of criteria were or what I was kind of looking for, again, it wasn't super picky didn't need a poodle wasn't necessarily looking for a poodle but I needed something of course small enough to fit into a apartment dwelling I needed something that was going to be not on the restricted list of my apartment dwelling I wanted something that was easily trained because again going back to the fact that I don't know when I'm gonna have to go back into the office so I would love to you know if it's September then fine if it's not till 2021 then perfect I'll be happy with that but uh, if it's September I wanted something that I could definitely give time to get acclimated I can't take her outside right now because she's not fully vaccinated um, and I know there's some discrepancies between when you can take a dog out some people say do it immediately some people wait till vaccinated for me it's not gonna do me any harm to wait till she's fully vaccinated she's very much so pee pad trained right now um, she has had accidents so fingers crossed she stays pee pad trained I want to make sure there's some a dog that's easily trainable if you guys don't know poodles are the second smartest breed of dogs right behind border collie so poodles whatever breed size you get them in poodles are also the only dog that comes in three different sizes so you can get the standard poodle that you guys see in the best in show pageants that's why they're in best in show that's why they win a lot of best in shows because they're so smart that they can do the little fruitly flus and the little obstacle courses that they have for them and then there's the miniature size which is in between toy and standard a miniature is a little bit bigger than her and then you have toy poodle which is her current size um, which won't get more than about seven pounds she currently is two pounds we found out 
from the vet on Tuesday. So she's still very small, uh, but they don't get more than six, seven, eight pounds. Uh, don't get more than about 11 inches tall. So she won't really get that tall, but um, this is kind of what she looks like. Again, they're also very intelligent, so much so to the point that that's why they get bred a lot. I think poodles are the most bred with dogs of anyone that's why you have golden doodle balti poos yorkie poos she poos pika poos chi poos they, every poo they have every poo that you can imagine because poodles are so much so sought after for their smarts their non-shedding fur i did also want a dog who was hypoallergenic i don't have dog allergies i'm allergic so allergic to cats though if i get near a cat my eye will swirl up like somebody's hitch we've had that happen before it was not a pretty sight so i'm not necessarily allergic to dogs i'm always fearful though that allergies return at a later age like some people who weren't allergic to strawberries all of a sudden get allergic to strawberries peanut butter seafood they develop it later in life so i'm always scared that i'm going to be that person who develops it later in life um but as of right now fingers crossed i'm not allergic to dogs but even if i come around people who say they are allergic to dogs i can be like a hospitable guest and say hey well i have a hypoallergenic dog i hate walking into situations where somebody has a cat and it's like I gotta be in this cat house I can't enjoy this cat house I want people to enjoy my home even though I do have a dog that doesn't shed and all that so those were kind of things I was looking for on my list again it didn't really matter what the breed was it just so happened that Winnie entered my life when Winnie entered my life so yeah just wanted to introduce Winnie to you guys to my YouTube family I want to hold her up like I'm in somebody's Lion King like this is Simba meet Winnie 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 is here. She's part of the family. I am a strong proponent for adopting. If you can't adopt, please adopt. But don't feel bad if you can't adopt. That's the thing I always feel. I know a lot of these videos, there's always comments from people like, you went to a breeder, you got a bred dog and all that. But if you do go to somebody reputable, I don't think there's a big problem with getting something, especially to fit your particular family's needs. Because again, a pit bull was not going to fit my current needs. And that's what the shelters had. Again, I'm not opposed to a senior dog. Would have loved to senior dogs and your dogs are probably my favorite dogs just because of course you don't have that bond with them from when they're like weeks old it still feels like you're in their end of life home it feels different when you have a senior dog um but i am thankful that i do get to spend you know from week seven with her so that's been today's video just wanted to introduce you guys to the new family member who's kind of having a moment so she might need to take a nap she might need to take a nap if you want to see any more dog content from me please let me know down below make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss anything that we do here on this platform make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it Winnie will feel better look at this you don't want to make her feel sad you don't want her to feel sad give this video a big thumbs up make sure you're following me on instagram at leelavon89 so you can keep up with me and winnie shenanigans in real time and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye